Hello, I'm Benjamin Sullivan, and welcome to another episode of Ben's Tech Support. Here's my gaming desktop computer, the one I call Beast. In the last episode of Ben's Tech Support, I showed you how to upgrade the power supply on a desktop computer, so I upgraded this computer's power supply to an 850 watt RGB, and it's working great. So if you watched the last episode, then you'll see that the reason I upgraded the power supply is because I wanted to upgrade the video card. This computer currently has a 2080 Ti, and I, here I have a 3080 Ti, and the problem is the old power supply did not meet the minimum requirements for the wattage, and it also didn't have enough 8-pin connectors. But, now that we've upgraded to a new power supply that has more than enough wattage and enough connectors, it's time to upgrade the video card. So in this episode of Ben's Tech Support, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the graphics card on a desktop computer. So, let's get started. So just like I did when I upgraded the RAM and the power supply, I have to shut the computer down, disconnect it, and take it over to the workstation. Let's do that. So as you can see, I've brought the computer over to the workstation area. Now in the last video when I did the power supply, I was able to replace the power supply by keeping the computer in the upright position, but for a video card it's going to be easier if we lay it down. So let's go ahead and lay the computer down. Okay, so we have the computer laying down. First thing I'm going to do is remove these four screws to take off the side panel, so we'll start with that. All screws have been removed, so I'm just going to carefully lift up on the side cover. Okay, so the side cover has been removed. Let me move the camera closer so you can see the video card better. So here's our computer right here, and here's the old video card, the RTX 2080 Ti. We're getting ready to take it out and replace it with an RTX 3080 Ti. So let me go ahead and get the new video card. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is attach this anti-static wrist strap to myself. This will prevent any ESD when touching electrical components. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this to the side of the case. Okay, now here's the old video card right here. One of the first things we're going to do is disconnect the power cables. There's two, two power cables going to the 2080 Ti. Let's go ahead and disconnect both of them. So there's little clips you push on, you just push on the little clips and pull up, and it comes right out. Now the next step is there's some screws right here in the case that are holding it in place. So I'm going to get out my screwdriver and remove the screws that are holding the video card in place. Okay, so now that both of the screws have been removed, there's a little latch that I need to press on that will release the video card. It's kind of hard to see, so let me go ahead and move the camera for you. So there's the video card. As you can see, I disconnected the power cable, and I removed the screws that were holding it in place. Now, if we look down here, here's the RAM. That's actually the RGB RAM I installed two videos ago. And then right here, there's a little piece of plastic. It's hard to see. But where my finger is, there's a piece of plastic that you need to press on. And what you do is you press down on that. And once pressing on it, then you can pull up and the video card should pop right out. Hard to do with one hand, so... And after pressing down on the plastic, the old video card popped right out. There it is. A beautiful RTX 2080 Ti, still in good working condition, but I just wanted something a little bit newer. And for those of you who've been watching my videos, you'll notice that in the last video, I replaced the power supply down here that has RGB on it. And, I, and then the video before that, I replaced the RAM with RGB. So the new video card, guess what else it has? 
If you guessed also RGB, you are correct. So not only is this new video card a higher quality video card, but it's also going to add even more light to the case. So let's go ahead and get the baby installed. Okay, so there's the old video card, and here's the new video card. Isn't that beautiful? And there it is, an EVGA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. And this bar you're looking at the, that I'm pointing at with my thumb, this is supposed to be a light bar that lights up in different colors. So yeah, as if the computer case didn't need any more RGB, here we go. And see, if you watch the last video, you'll see that I showed that this type of video card requires three different connectors. And the problem is the previous power supply that I had only had two, so that's why I had to upgrade the power supply before I could upgrade the video card. So the new power supply is in place. We have the new video card ready. Let's remove this cover. And let's go ahead and get this baby installed. So if you look in here, Here's the CPU, the RAM, and here's where the new video card's going to be. It's going to be right here. So we just have to make sure we line it up with this slot and snap it in place, and then we should be good to go after we attach the power cables. Okay, so I'm going to line the graphics card up with the PCI Express slot, and then just gently push it till it locks into place. Okay, so that's the first step. First step is done. Okay, so here we are. We just physically installed the new video card, the, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, into the PCI Express slot. The next thing we're going to do is, in order to secure it, we need to go get the screwdriver and the screws and secure it with the screws right in these holes right here. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, so I've got the screw and the screwdriver. Let's go ahead and secure the video card in place. So first I'm going to use my fingers to carefully line it up with the hole. Got it. Okay, and tighten it with the screwdriver. So it's nice and tight. Okay, so now you can see that the new graphics card is securely in place. It feels nice and snug. It's not moving. The screws that we screwed in are nice and tight. So now we have to go ahead and connect the power cables. And that was the problem I had before is the old video card, the one over there, the 2080 Ti only, re only required two eight pin connectors and that's all the old power supply had. But since this one requires three and the old power supply only had two, I had to upgrade the power supply first. So let's go ahead and get them connected. Here they are right here. So here's the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and plug them right into their slots. So here's two of the 8-pin connectors. Let's go ahead and plug these ones in. One. Two. So two out of three ain't bad. Now let's get the third one, which I think is right down here. And there we go, the new video card is physically installed, it's secured in place, and all three cables have been plugged in. So now all that's left to do is put the cover back on, bring it back over to its home, hook it up, and hope that everything works. Okay, the computer is all hooked up, so let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time since installing the new video card, and let's see if it works. Okay, so here's the computer with the new video card installed. Let's turn it on for the first time and see what happens. Okay, we're getting some light on the video card. That means it's getting power. That looks good. Let's see if we've got anything on the screen. Okay, I see the Windows logo. So far, so good. Now, the only thing is I might have to manually install the driver. Well, not necessarily. If it's connected to the internet, it might pick it up. Okay, so notice how big those icons are, and that's because it's at a different resolution because it's a different video card. So, it looks like I might actually have to download the driver. So let's go ahead and download the driver. But also, I just noticed, if you look there, 
It looks like the light came on, but I thought it was supposed to be different colors, so I may have to experiment with that. Although that, that's also something that maybe once I install the driver, it'll start doing different colors. But so far, it looks like at least it's working. So let's go ahead and install the driver. So I just went to nvidia.com slash download slash index.aspx and put in the information. GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Windows 10 64-bit Game Ready English. Okay, let's see if it finds it. And there it is. Download. Okay, and the download has started, but it, it, it is pretty big. It's almost a whole gig, so it may take a couple minutes. Okay, so it's a little bit later, and the new driver for the video card has been installed successfully. You can tell just by looking at the screen the driver has been installed just based on the fact that the resolution is correct and the icons are no longer giant. But also, if we look here, I brought up the DirectX Diagnostic Tool, and now let's go to the Display tab. Under the, under the Display tab, you can see, there it is. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti with the latest driver and I figured out something else so if we look over here you can see there's the new power supply from the previous video there's the new video card working well and I mentioned earlier in the video how the light bar is just solid blue and I thought it was RGB turns out it is RGB and I figured it out what it is is I had to install this piece of software called EVGA Precision X1 so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up And I'll show you, it's really cool. Basically, this is the software that helps control the RGB on your video card. So I'm going to go up to the LED tab. And right here, here's the light bar right here, and it's set to static on. And notice how the color is blue. Well, watch this. If I click on the color, and let's say I change it to green, I'm going to click on the green circle and watch this. Ooh. Now I'm going to click on the red circle. Now I'm going to click on the white circle. See, so you can actually choose different colors here. That's the static on option. Or I can go to rainbow, and now it'll cycle through the different colors. Or, even cooler, I can choose rainbow wave. And now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yep, so now I've got my computer with RGB fans, RGB memory, RGB video card, and RGB power supply. Okay, so most of the fun is done. We got the new power supply installed, the new video card installed, the drivers installed, the RGB is working. What's left? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, it's time for the real fun. It's time to try out a game. Let's see how well this baby can handle Quake 2 RTX. Now, Quake 2 is actually an older game. It was released in the late 90s, but it was recently re-released as Quake 2 RTX with greatly enhanced graphics. So basically, we're playing the remake, and let's see how well this computer can handle it. Wow. Definitely an improvement over the original. And it's nice and smooth, too. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a shotgun down here. Wow, look at those graphics. The textures, the lighting, the sunlight, all, all that. Much better than the original. I think the shotgun's down here. There it is. Aw, oh, not only does the weapon look a lot nicer, it even has like little lights on the side of it. That's cool! Okay, that takes care of the enemies in this area. Let's go out to the courtyard. So beautiful. Look at the effects on the water. 
Yeah, you definitely didn't have those effects in the original version of the game. <laughs> now I'm gonna try out Doom Eternal on maximum settings. Let's see, start a new campaign. Okay. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Only me? Rip and tear until it is done. Beautiful graphics, but I don't care about the cutscene. I just want to get right into the action. Hold on to skip. Oh, and you start out with a weapon this time. I have located the bridge symbol. I will mark it on your hunt. Okay, I remember glory kills from the previous game. How many times do I have to punch this guy? Low health, okay, we'll fix that in a minute. There we go. <laughs> Chainsaw, hell yeah! Press C to instantly chainsaw demons and refill your ammo. Nice! Ha -ha. Let's see, where am I going? Double jump, okay. Gotta say, not only are these graphics beautiful, it's nice and smooth. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, please click on that subscribe button. More videos coming soon. Have a great day, YouTubers.